Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. So here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee Pama Bruce. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of North Hollywood, California, the Great! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Body out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Rips the body there. is underway and no surprise that his opponent's guard is high. He has done his homework, he has watched film. You know about these powerful overhand punches, a big part of his game plan every time out. We'll see if he can get it going here early in this one. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks, that one was checked. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Both guys have been hurt in this first round. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, he 
he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Looking to avoid that left hand. Oh, big shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, oh big left hand. Whoa. Whoa. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's got that half guard. Big body shot. Body. Now he's back into full guard. Trying to spin to the back. Transitions to full guard. He's working from his back now. Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. Trying to get that arm under the chin. He's got it. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's got the hand behind the neck. He locks the hand down on the bicep. Outstanding. And there it is. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.